Michael Johnson Jr., Christy Becker back with everybody here on ESPN Plus putting the wraps on what was a, a great day of action. Two quarterfinal games. First one featured Maine taking down UC Davis 4-3. to three. And then most recently, the Vermont Catamounts just took down and eliminated the UMass Lowell Riverhawks, winning 2 to nothing, clinching their first playoff win in 22 years since 2002. And, uh, Christy, as we take a look at some of the uh, highlights throughout the game, I mean, this was this was a good one. And Sophie LaFranc, who, uh, who's one of the key players of this team, starts off with a goal there early. Yeah, gets it started nice on, uh, on that. And then uh, scores here uh, off the tip down down low uh, to give them the 2 nothing lead. And uh, UMass Lowell had a few chances. That yeah. one definitely looked like it was going to catch the corner. And uh, and then here, just a, a really nice save on, uh, on that uh, open shot. And then the celebration began. That's the, the feeling, pure jubilation when you clinch your first playoff game. Uh, win in 22 years. Final stats again, uh, Vermont seven shots to UMass Lowell's three, no fouls for either team, five penalty corners to two, five saves to three, but Vermont defensively and really throughout the game, Christy was the better team. And here's the bracket for tomorrow, another day, right? Another day and our, our top four seeds hold. So we'll uh, number two, New Hampshire will take on number three, Mainz at the 11 a.m. game. And then we've got tournament host, U Albany, the number one seed taking on number four, the Vermont Catamounts at 2 p.m. Both great matchups on paper, New Hampshire and U Albany with the extra rest. But thanks everybody for tuning in to this presentation of the America East Conference Tournament for Field Hockey presented by Jersey Mike's via sub above. This has been a presentation of ESPN on ESPN Plus. So long, everybody.